This is unsettling. Has anyone been inside here since the attack? Nothing but rubble and tragedy. Yeah, so why does it look like the bad guys left from the spy film? I'm just saying there's a lot of security. For a repair job. Good observation. Bagley, what should I be looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble.
This is London Calling. You're listening to me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. This time, we're turning our focus back on the media to look at my former employer, the GBB. As we know, the broadcaster has been through a lot of changes since the Hassani government gave in to pressure from his corporate backers and privatised the... Welcome back to The Upload. Today, we're talking... What the fuck? This is it. The signal is coming from this spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Christ, it's been ripped apart. Why was it here, Bagley? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. data relays to go. data relay and I'll have it. audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and got it go back to where you found that spider bot and i'll show you the ar reconstruction from the night of the explosion all right ct lopez ar data reconstruction in progress you brought the payload fuck think we'd go back here don't trust the Kelly dog. I'll admit DeadSec's resources certainly make me see. As in Clan Kelly? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, the bloody gangsters were part of the bombings? Oh, I've seen this on my murder shows. It's like a handoff. Kelly's are just their suppliers. Their contact didn't seem to be part of the same organization. Is it possible she's a part of Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking.
Bagley, can you identify the operator of the spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. The police were watching. The plot thickens. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. And what do you propose? A quantum tunnel through it? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good plan. you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. All right. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero Day has a signature. Hey, hurry. Got all the deliveries. So you were hired to fight all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. So, Zero Day organized several groups in order to stage the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Considering they had surveillance, it's clear the police force haven't disclosed everything they know about the attack. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard.
only thing left untouched is the sign out front. Albion's taken over the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. Grand. The exact improvement the police force needed was to be outsourced to bloody Albion. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Bagley, is this our spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you identify the user? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Fine, leave it to me. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Junk. 
You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. Make your way through this last bent path. I don't want to loiter around here. Have it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. Strange. Why would the police force use another station unless it's off the books? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates.
GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pings these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's discreet in a camera dead zone. Good place to conduct some less than legal business. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Is there a way to get in, Bagley? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Wow! It's like the Met built themselves an underground way station in here. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. So what were they investigating that led them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. 
So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. I didn't think Albion could get any more corrupt. But working with the criminal syndicate? It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. And mass disappearances definitely sounds like something dead sex should look into. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may. They'll be alive but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Well... Chances of him being deported at this time are slim to none. He's probably stranded in the EPC, which is unpleasant. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Hello, hello. Someone else sloughed off work and now it's your turn. Fantastic.
to sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? I suppose I'll continue doing everything myself then. So, I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. We need to find our contact. I assume you all realise that Albion finding out Angela's dead sec would be disastrous? For him as well. Got Bagley summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Please tell me you are competent enough to have kept it off the record. No worries, I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. You only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. Jesus. So because they're illegals, the government just packs them up and forgets about them? I mean, look at this chaos. How would they even notice if anything happened to anyone? Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. For fuck's sake! Mary Kelly is truly affiliated with every immoral operation in this city. True. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Stay out and don't annoy me. Yeah, have a nice life. Ah, fuck! Shit! Oh. Keep it together. Keep it together. 
Surroundings. Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skip on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DeadSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? 
of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing of problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Oh, fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Oh, shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Were you programmed to be insufferable? I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Well done. 